Diane Dodds, Northern Ireland MEP, what are the concerns that you're hearing from local organisations trying to access European money for Northern Ireland? The European Social Fund comes to Northern Ireland um, to help with issues around employability um, and bringing skills to help people get onto the labour market. It's money that's targeted at the most disadvantaged in our society. Now, the fund is now open for application. Unfortunately, we are in a, a strange position where 60% of those organisations who have applied for funding have been turned down at stage one. That is a very unusual uh, position to be in. And I know the Minister has taken some steps to clarify this, but it is a matter of concern. Last week, I met with around 12 organisations who were affected. In those 12 organisations, over 200 protective redundancy notices have already been issued and 7,000 training places are at risk to those organisations. And I want the Commission here to make sure that social fund money that comes to Northern Ireland is administered in a completely transparent and equitable way. Um, and I think the Minister has to step up to the plate and ensure the process is just that, transparent and equitable. I mean, I know you don't want to name individual organisations, but what kind of um, organisations are we talking about? What's the kind of scope of their work? And, and let's be clear, they're not organisations that have co are coming to this for the first time. They have experience in making these kind of applications. Many of these organisations have been using and handling European Social Fund money for over 20 years. They are organisations with capacity and experience in handling this type of, type of money and in putting in schemes that really help local communities. They are organisations that are in the community. The people who run them are off the community and the people who come to these organisations trust them and know that they can deliver. Now I am concerned that uh, we will be able uh, to continue with these kind of programmes. If we are really to take Northern Ireland forward, if we are to have a truly inclusive society, then we must have a, a, a programme that actually engages with the disadvantaged, with the disabled and with those who are hard to reach, people that we can bring onto the employment ladder. They need the skills, they need the education, they need the training and the Minister needs to focus on this. I am calling on the Minister to ensure that he meets the target set by the European Social Fund of 20% of this money to actually be targeted at uh, eradicating poverty and social exclusion. You mentioned the kind of work that uh, these organisations are doing, so working with uh, disadvantaged groups, um, trying to sort out social exclusion, that, that kind of thing. Um, are you concerned that there's a risk that this money could be, be diverted elsewhere if it isn't accessed by these organisations? These are extremely important organisations in the voluntary and community sector. And we should not ignore the fact that the voluntary and community sector do an enormous amount of work. They reach people that statutory organisations simply cannot reach. Whether that be in education, in community education, or whether that be in the area of employment and training skills. So we need to ensure that these organisations are able to continue with this type of work. There is um, no doubt budgetary pressures for the Minister, but I want to see European money targeted at those most in need and what it was intended for. You've raised this issue with the European Commission, you also raised it in a speech in the European Parliament. When you spoke to officials in the European Commission, were they alarmed by these concerns you were raising? What, was, what kind of response did you get? Are you uh, confident there will be some kind of investigation that this process is indeed fair? Well, I think the process is underway. So therefore, to be fair to everyone within the process, the process must be allowed to continue. The Minister needs to ensure that that happens. The Commission will monitor the process, and that's what I'm simply asking them to do, to oversee a process that um, makes sure that it's transparent, it's equitable, and that it's open to all. 
And let's be clear, some of the complaints that you're hearing, what are their concerns? You say 60% uh, of the applications are being rejected at the first stage. What kind of complaints are they coming forward uh, with saying that it doesn't seem to be consistent, doesn't seem to be fair? Well, there are, there are complaints around the issues of submissions of management accounts, um, the issues of transparency, the issues of actually getting the appropriate information to the organisations so that they know exactly what they need to apply. Um, the Minister needs to ensure that he has an open, fair, transparent process. Some steps after uh, a lot of questioning and lobbying have been taken to improve the process um, and I hope that the Minister ensures that at the end of the day money is directed where it is most needed and where the European Social Fund is intended to go. Just briefly to, to finish, um, how are you going to be following this up? You've met with the commissioners, the European commissioners, we've, we've heard. Um, what do you expect to happen next and when will you be kind of satisfied that something's come out of this? Well, of course, I will continue to monitor the process. I will continue to be in touch with those groups who have been in touch with me and welcome any other groups who want to uh, engage with me uh, on, on this particular issue. Um, the process is ongoing, um, it has some way to run yet uh, and of course the Commission will monitor and evaluate at the end of that. I hope that we can reach a fair and equitable solution to this in Northern Ireland. I want to support those groups who support the most disadvantaged within our community and it is very important that the Minister in Northern Ireland does the same.